Hello Clever Resort Chefs, Lance Cook here, back again to discuss logos and taking it one step further to make your logo animated. Why should you have a logo? When people see logos, they associate that logo with the brand that it represents. So I pulled up a website that just goes over some of the reasons on why to have a logo. So you can scroll down and obviously you can see it grabs attention, it makes a strong first impression. This is a big one about brand identity. So with a logo, you can have brand development. You can put that logo on pretty much anything, coffee cups, t-shirts, you can put it on your website. And the more you use your logo, the more it is associated with your brand. You can identify each one of these logos and what they represent. So how do you create a logo? So there are some free logo makers and you can utilize these tools to see if you like the outcome. So right here, it asks for your company name. I just put my name in there. We're gonna get started, create your own logo, and you can actually pay for somebody to design your logo, but I'll show you a different website that I use for that. So you can see it's already populated some different logos for me to scan over, uh, but if I wanted to do some keywords, so let's just say chef, now it's gonna populate some logos that fall under that category. So if I wanted to take it into a different direction, I could punch in some keywords and it's gonna do some different things. And essentially you would click on one that you like and take it a step further. The company that I use is called photologo.co. This is the first order that I did. So for $27.99, they came up with some logos for me. So these are some of the logos they came up with. They give you up to five logos to choose from. So this was one of them that had my certifications in there. This one particularly just seemed too jumbled up. So if we go to concept two, this is one that I actually currently use in my email signature. There's a couple of other concepts. So it had a little more slant to it. So this one had a watermark behind it. Again, seemed too jumbled up, so I did not utilize that one. What I ended up doing is paying another $80 for them to do this here. The one on the bottom right is the one I selected to represent my brand and do other things with. So as we scroll down, you'll see there's different options. There's different backgrounds, signatures, font. This particular one, you can put a watercolor behind it. Once you've decided on a specific signature to represent you and your brand, you can do so many different things with it. So again, business cards, stationery, coffee cups, I don't go through this website. I go through different sources for that kind of stuff. So let's see how we can animate our logo. This is a company that I came across on Instagram. It's about $40. You choose five different designs and within two days, they have your logo animated and send it back to you. So here's just a couple of designs to choose from. And if you've decided on them to animate your logo, just click on their website. So again, with the logo that I decided on, that was in that bottom right hand corner, this is the animation that they came up with. So with making a logo and animating your logo to develop your brand, the sky's the limit.